I'd like to thank you all for coming. I'd like to especially thank Her Excellency, uh, the Minister for Foreign Affairs uh, of the Republic of Indonesia, uh, for this uh, fantastic bilateral meeting we have just had here in this beautiful city of Jayapura, Papua province. I am pleased as well, it might sound unusual, but I'm pleased as well to welcome uh, the Foreign Minister uh, and a high-level delegation to Jayapura today uh, for the third senior officials meeting and the fourth joint ministerial commission. This is a historical meeting. This meeting has never been held uh, here before like this between two foreign ministers from Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. And I can say uh, the discussions we had were very, very fruitful. Our meeting this afternoon focused on a number of bilateral issues. Our mutual interests between our two countries in the different areas of cooperation, development partnership and especially along our common and shared borders. On security cooperation, I am pleased that the Defence Cooperation Agreement was recently ratified by the PNG Parliament on the 21st of February 2024. This uh, DCA between Indonesia and Papua New Guinea has been gathering dust on the shelves over 10 years. And now that it has been ratified, we're going to see an increase in our defence cooperation on our borders and with our um, defence uh, departments and our governments for the security of our people. And that's very, very important going forward. In the areas of economic and development cooperation, we have reaffirmed collabora uh, collaboration for the PNG Indonesia Business Forum, Downstream Processing Corporation, PNG Indonesia's Joint Task Force and Joint Feasibility Study on PNG Indonesia's uh, Preferential Trade Agreement. With that, I'd also wish to further acknowledge and thank the Government of the Republic of Indonesia for the grant assistance of 60 million kina for the new Port Moresby General Hospital ICU ward, which is going to be uh, a fantastic uh, way of looking after those people in need in our country. And of course, the brand new mortuary uh, as well. And with that, the West Sepik Integrated Development Project, including Wutung Primary School, which uh, building project and the upgrade of the Vonimo fire station and the Vonimo waste management system. All very important projects uh, in Vonimo, West Sepik province, right on our border. And uh, with, of course, the foreign minister and I visiting uh, the, especially the school project uh, tomorrow morning. Importantly, I want to take this opportunity to reassure uh, the Foreign Minister for PNG support for collaboration on addressing issues of mutual interest since both countries share common land border, which has been the cornerstone of PNG's Indonesian relationship and will be maintained going forward. In that, in that connection, I want to acknowledge and encourage Indonesia's continual support in its implementation of the Indonesian government-funded grant projects in PNG that uh, greatly contribute to our development aspirations in areas of health, education, and including waste management and fire and safety infrastructures. Finally, I want to reassure Foreign Minister of the importance PNG places on its bilateral relations with Indonesia, that friendship should be built on trust. 
and PNG values Indonesia as an important bilateral partner. And with that, thank you, Minister, for all your love, attention, and work you do to make sure that our relationship is stronger than ever. Thank you so much. My good friend, my brother, Minister Justin Tatsenko, and delegation, colleagues from the media. I just landed yesterday from Gambia, West Africa, to represent my president to attend the 15th OIC summit. It was really a long trip. It took me more than 26 hours from Banjul, Gambia to Jakarta. The immediate morning, I flew from Jakarta to Jayapura to co-chair the fourth Joint Ministerial Commission between Indonesia and PNG, hosted by PNG. It is an obvious reflection from my side, at least, commitment to strengthen bilateral relations with PNG. As an immediate neighbor, PNG is a natural partner for Indonesia. Minister Tatsenko, we write a history today. This is for the first time that bilateral meeting between Foreign Minister of Indonesia and PNG is taking place in Jayapura. We share a fast land border not far from here, more than 800 kilometers. We share a, short, a, a, a strong cultural ties. We also share a strong commitment to respect sovereignty and territorial integrity of other countries. And most importantly, we share commitment that our relation should bring mutual benefit and bring prosperity for our two people, including people living at the border of our countries. Colleagues from the media, during the GMC, we discussed several issues of common concern. First, on political security cooperation, political ties between the two countries is very strong. Exchange of visit at leaders' level are intensive. July last year, my president visited PNG. At the same month, July, Deputy PMPNG visited Indonesia. September, PMPNG visited Indonesia. Indonesia welcomes the completion of ratification process on new defense cooperation agreement by PNG. And we look forward to its entry into force and its fruitful implementation. As two neighboring countries that share a fast border, this agreement is critical to strengthen our security amidst the geopolitical dynamics in our region. On border cooperation, we agreed to encourage further cooperation to strengthen connectivity in the border areas. Second, on economic cooperation, we welcome the growth of our trade volume, which reached 247.6 million US dollar last year. We both agreed that this number can be further increased given our fast potential. Thus, Indonesia reiterated our commitment to commence a joint feasibility study on a preferential trade agreement, or PTA, between the two countries. We both also welcome PLN initial installation of the electricity network infrastructure in Wutung. And this is only the first phase of the project. Third, on development cooperation. Indonesia is committed to work together with the Pacific nation, including the PNG, to strengthen development cooperation. Therefore, we discuss means to ensure that development cooperation to PNG will be better tailored to PNG needs. This year, Indonesia has prepared four projects. First, the assistance to modernize Port Moresby Hospital that will commence soon. Second, we have started the revitalization of several infrastructure, public infrastructure in Vanimo, including the Wutung Primary School, which is located near Skau Wutung Border Point. Third, scholarship for PNG students and civil servants 
and fourth, Indonesia is also welcoming diplomats from PNG and other Pacific countries to join our mid-career diplomatic training this June. And to further support this project and cooperation in the future, I'm happy to note that we have signed two agreements today. One is Framework Agreement on Development and Technical Cooperation and the Agreement for Training and Capacity Building for Mid-Career Diplomat from MSG countries. Colleagues, lastly, we discuss our cooperation with the Pacific region. Indonesia puts high importance, the good relation with the Pacific nation. Last year, Indonesia hosted for the first time a summit of archipelagic and small island states where many Pacific nations attended the summit. In 2022, Indonesia hosted Indonesia Pacific Forum for Development as a forum to develop concrete cooperation with the Pacific nation. During Indonesia chairmanship in ASEAN last year, Indonesia initiated a cooperation between ASEAN Secretariat and Pacific Island Forum Secretariat. And this initiative received strong support both, both from ASEAN as well as from PIF. My president also hosted trilateral talks with P uh, Prime Minister of PNG and Prime Minister of Fiji last year on the sidelines of the APEC Summit in San Francisco. The strong cooperation also goes with the MSG. Indonesia developed strong collaboration, including training program in support of MSG Roadmap on Fisheries Management, training for the UN Peacekeeping Police, diplomatic training for MSG member state. We also agreed to work together to maintain peace and stability in the Pacific region and to prepare the Pacific nation in coping with the shared challenges, including related to the climate change and fisheries management. Indonesia is committed to work together with the MSG and PIF to strengthen the capacities of both organizations toward this objective. So once again, I thank the government of PNG for their steadfast commitment in supporting Indonesia engagement in the MSG and PIF. As our closest neighbor in the Pacific, PNG is a critical partner for Indonesia in its engagement with its brothers and sisters in the Pacific. To conclude, I would like to convey my highest appreciation for the leadership of PM Marape and Minister Tatsenko in building a very strong relation with Indonesia. Without your leadership, we won't be able to reach this point. So once again, thank you very much, My Minister Tansenko. Thank you very much, Justin. And thank you, colleagues.